guys, welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you Q. Now this was actually sent over by Wonder Workshop, a company we've seen before that also makes Dash. Now this here's their latest model, in which it's geared more towards teenagers as well as adults. So it's actually got a very nice cool looking look to it, as well as has a lot of different functionalities that I'm sure you'll love. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here is our Q robot, and I have to say right off the bat, the box itself is very unique. It's got a lot of different dimensions to it, as you may notice, and it actually has a very unique shape. Now on the front here, we do see the robot itself kind of peeking through. No, it does come in two different colors, such as a white color as well as a darker gray, which this is the one we have here today. Uh, and then on this side here, it kind of talks about the app itself. And what you can do is you can chat and actually talk with your robot. You can create your own animations as well as control and your own code. So it's got a lot of different things with it. Now on the back here, the interesting thing about this robot is it does have different personalities. So you can do a charge, smirk, zest, or pep in which the robot will talk to you. Now it does have an infrared interaction as well as Bluetooth, LED buttons, three processor and sensor fusions, uh, and it says a dual motor as well as proximity centers. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go ahead and take him out and wow this thing is pretty interesting looking. Uh, so it's made out of almost like three, four balls. Um, he has an eye over here. We do have some buttons on the top here. I really like the color of it, and I love the color combination. Uh, let's see what else is inside the box. So in back here, we have some other things. Uh, this here are some stickers. And then we have an instruction manual. And then below this here, we have a power cable. And then we have some adapters as well. Yep. Let's go ahead and set him up and see what this is all about. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. We got our robot updated and loaded. So let's go ahead and open up the app here and turn on our queue. Click on connect a robot. So it's searching and it says this robot comes with a free avatar, claim it. So you got a few different avatars here, so we could try them all. Um, hmm, let's go just see how Smirk looks like. Chat demo. Kind of like, is that you? So I can actually text him, say yes. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> uh, it's actually talking Here to me. Smirk. First robot to die! Ah, oh, boredom. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mmm, so we can go on a mission together? Who wants to play with their little buddy? So we can actually play different games? That's cool. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, Smirk. Let's see Pep. So that's kind of how Pep sounds. And then here's Zest. You are as bluff and awesome as a pretty pink princess wandering across your cupcake kingdom, showering the people with puppy eyed rainbow kittens. Oh dear God. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's just go back here and just check out Charge. So let's just go ahead and click on charge, uh, and click claim, and kind of move forward with this. All right, so there's our avatar. So Woo! Our, back online. So our Q's got a personality now. That's pretty cool. Uh, so if you click next, and then we can do code. Uh, and then there's control. So let's go ahead and have fun. What's so, up? So I want to see what this chat thing's about. Let's just say, maybe. <laughs> so we can actually talk to the robot itself. Of course you do. Let's take it for a spin. Robot control. So there's different things we can do. So we can do sensors, colors, story. Let's see story. So this is an interactive story. I'll ask you for three pieces of information. Please type in the name of someone who wants to be the main character in the story. Let's just write Sohail. That's my name. Woohoo! Okay, hold on. This is quite interesting that I'm talking to a robot. <laughs> now look to your left and tell me what object is there, not including your computer, keyboard, or mouse. Well, there's a light, so I'll write light. This is going to um. <laughs> Now tell me the name of the celebrity. You can choose a movie star, singer, YouTuber, whatever. Okay, um, let's try Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a good one. So do humans really consider Will Smith a celebrity? If you say so, start story. <laughs> so he looked out the window and saw it. Two figures fighting. One resembled a human, but the other looked weird. Artificial. Uh, what do we do? We go help. So it was always the brave human. Rushed outside to help. So through the light of that, the robot hitting the power button, the su robot surprised power down. Continue. So he's actually interacting and showing the story as we're talking about it. So he realized on closer inspection that the human is actually Will Smith. Perfect time to get an autograph, right? Wrong! <laughs> oh dear god, what is this? So he was smart enough to be cautious because Will Smith turned around and was actually a brain-eating zombie. All right, said Sohail, I totally forgot about the zombie apocalypse that started last Thursday. The robots are on our side. Turn robot on! Look, so he even shows like a little picture of a zombie. That's pretty cool. The robot came to life and defeated zombie Will Smith. Time to thank the brave robot. Thank you. And that's all I have to say about that. So he gave the robot a big hug. They immediately became BFFs. The robot moved in with Sohail. What is this? <laughs> so it's an interesting concept. And they lived happily ever after fighting zombie celebrities with their trusty light. The end. Okay. Uh... <laughs> you made it through the intro to chat just barely. <laughs> let's see what else we can do together. So there's a lot of different things you can do with the in terms of like chatting wise, but let's go ahead and click on control. 
Now, control is interesting because it just allows you to control the robot as any other robot goes, of course. So we get control of uh, motion, so you can move them forward, we can move them left, you can move them right. Um, we can even do different things, such as there's a microphone as well. Hey, this is Conflix. Woohoo! Hey, this is Conflix. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. So, you know, it's actually quite clear and crisp quality sound. Now, on the bottom right of this, it does show a sensor here. You can actually see when I'm putting my hand closer to the robot, uh, it does show that, you know, it's getting closer and there's a back sensor as well. So that's quite interesting that it has those capabilities and it has a live feed of it. Now, you can do seek mode, which allows it to kind of go on its own. There's a void mode, which will avoid Put objects. Perimeter. So it's on a void mode. Well, someone's flying true. <laughs> I'm not so sure about so, that. So literally, as soon as something comes in his way, he'll back up. So, quite interesting. Uh, so, let's go ahead and just move him forward there and turn off avoid. Uh, explore mode I allows him to go on his own. All day. So, he's kind of exploring his surroundings. Oop. <laughs> you don't want him to fall. So, let's go ahead and bring him back. There we go. He's actually quite fast. So, we can actually make his. Now, now, we can make his speed faster. Check this out. It's Whoa! He did a wheelie. Good day for a drive. You are totally nooping the heck out of this thing. And here ends another exciting adventure. So he is quite fast. <laughs> and he's doing a little dance. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, some different things you can do in terms of robot control. Alrighty, so besides just using the app, you can actually play with the robot itself without it. So if I just turn him on, and this here's like an Easter egg. Woo! Back online! So if you press the top three buttons at once. your first rodeo with pushed. Go ahead and push that top button on my head. And then you press the top button here. All right, initiate sequence. So this here's a game, a mini game actually. So you just press the button and follow it. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> so it's like a pattern game. Two things you can't cheat. The first is death, and the second is me. You probably have a better chance with death. <laughs> Sorry, but you lose. Oh, I ended up pressing the wrong button. So it kind of gives you an idea of what this robot's about, in which it's actually a lot of fun. I really love all the colors on it, and I love the functionality. Now, it does have a lot of potential with it, in which you can go ahead and create your own animations, as well as your own programs, and much, much more. Not to mention, there's a lot of different Easter eggs with this robot that you'll find out as you play with it. Alright, well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Q, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.